Oh, wow, look at that piece. Dude, I look remember. at the color on that. Oh my gosh. Dude, they got big slap it. Hands. Slap it. Hey. Dude. I mean, that's a cutter right there, bro. That's a 20 carat no stone way. right there. Five or bucks. bucks. So that's the best piece of aquamarine I've ever found in my life. World-class specimens are shaping up there, guys. Craig Cardwell, uh, owner of the Blue Star Claims. Me and my wife, Tracy, have 14 load claims at 13,800 feet, all the way up to 14, and we're up mining aquamarines. There is no room for failure at all. This is our livelihood. This is what puts food on our table. We could either go bust or we could really hit it big. Me and Tracy will continue working side by side, pushing these guys and making sure we can get every bit of aquamarine production that we can get to where we can run with some of the global competitors. Snow patch oh blue God. right there. We're just ready to put everything we have in and go big. Expectations are, are high. Today is going to be a big day. We got Scooby Jake. Yeah, this guy, he he's a world-renowned treasure hunter, scuba diver, all of the above. We've been following this guy for a while and just, just phenomenal. We're excited for him to get here and uh, we'll get up on the mountain and see what we can do. What's up, brother Jake? What's up? How are y'all? Good to see you, man. You My wife, Tracy. Hey, hi. Nice How to meet you. you. Yeah. Man. Thank y'all for having me. I'm so yeah. excited. I've never found any aquamarine and hopefully we leave this mountain with millions of dollars worth. I've seen the videos. So it's going to be pretty Love crazy. the attitude. Uh, that's <laughs> yes. exactly the thought process. We want to leave with millions of dollars. So <laughs> see, starting out with a great attitude. Uh, welcome to I've Colorado. I've never been to Colorado before, and this place is so beautiful. There's mountains that are very high, and it's just super dry. Even sitting here right now, it's hard to catch my breath because I'm used to, like, the low country in the south. But I'm out of breath, but I have high spirits and hopes of finding these amazing gemstones. And I just feel so lucky and blessed to team up with this crew and hopefully find some amazing pieces. And it's just uh, something else. Man, you guys definitely have to come to Colorado and check it out for yourself. Can you guys explain like what we're gonna find up there? Yeah, go ahead. A little buried treasure, you know. <laughs> a uh, lot of buried I, treasure. You got an opportunity to break into the gym business with the opening of a single pocket. Wow. Mm -hmm. And we're in those pan zones. Yeah, so we could walk down this mountain with Lamborghinis. We could. The, wow. Let's go with a pair of them. A, a pair. <laughs> <laughs> we all got to get blue Lamborghinis for the Aquamarine. Uh, yeah. Thank you for having me. I'm so mm. excited. Yeah. But let's get up this dang mountain. Let's go. Yeah. One piece. I don't want to die. <laughs> So what do you say we go down here and let's see if this is popping. You can see the sun's hitting it, right? Yeah. Let's let the sun do some work for us. All right. All right. We got Jake up here getting dirty, right, babe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So we got we got some uh, free labor out yeah. of this guy, right? Doing all our dirty work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, what we got here is we're kind of mid uh, process of cleaning this out. Got a chance to show Jake a lot of the graphic of what's going on, so he's kind of knowing what to look for. He's not going to have much breath or, or energy if he keeps going like that. He'll learn though. He'll learn to pace himself. <laughs> <laughs> I said, y'all speak for yourself. I'm hanging in there. There's a bunch of smokies right there. So it looks like a pocket. Like, you know, like oh! So we got a pocket open. So I'm going to pour some water on it and just see what we've got and show Jake what the pockets look like. This is awesome. Oh, wow. This is a really good little smoky pocket. Here's a smoky here. It's got a good point on it. A whole cavity right here. Yep, and there's a little aqua right there. That is so cool. Too. That's pretty crazy. Like, That's a good a pocket, great huh? Great pocket, yes. A little frozen. Oh, there's one. That's a good one. Wow, look at that. This right here is worth sixteen thousand dollars. <laughs> what do you think that is? That's a couple hundred bucks, right? That's probably seventy-five. This is seventy-five thousand dollars. <laughs> That's cute. So I'm still new to like put a price on crystals but there's so many different reasons why some would be more valuable than others but this one's a really good one uh, it's pretty smooth on this side uh, this would probably be worth around 75 bucks but there's some worth over tens of thousands of dollars and they could be right here for us to find so this is pretty exciting so we, I've got to just keep pouring water and try to melt it 
and because you don't want to just pull out the smokies as they are because it'll, they'll break. The challenges we face on this mountain is that a lot of this stuff is actually frozen still. So we're over here dumping water on it so it thaws out and that's when we can go in and pull out these crystals from the wall. So you don't want to break anything, we just want to thaw everything out and then pull one by one and be very careful. We're going to continue dumping water, thaw this out, and hopefully find some amazing pieces. Yep. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we've already shown Jake what to look for and he's just kind of doing some freestyling, man. And that's how you do it up here. You just kind of get after it. He's going to find some blue. He's going to get the blue fever. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try to pull a quick one. Uh, Danny and I, while we were at the trailhead, found a bunch of blue broken glass. So we're going to see if we can trick him into thinking it's aquamarine. <laughs> This is some of the glass that we found in the parking lot. It looks kind of close to what the aquamarine looks like. So we're just gonna sit here and try to stuff it in, make it look realistic, and see what we can come up with. <laughs> yeah, you put a little bit of dirt on this and it, it looks like the real thing. <laughs> the cool thing is that Jake just started, so he really doesn't know what he's looking for. Everyone's in on it except for our filmer and Jake. Wow! Whoa. Hey. Right. We, we hey, I was just like messing around, but look at this squirrel. Uh, what is it? I don't know. I'm shaking right now. Is it smoky? It's a, no, it's a lot of blue. Oh, yeah. Hold up. Down. You got blue. <laughs> That's like five or six pieces of aquamarine. All about the same size of what I just found. Wow, look at all that. That is so cool. <laughs> this is awesome. This is so cool. We can't tell the person who owns the mine. We can't split it. This is ours. This is ours. I'm, I'm gonna need to hide this somewhere. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, pull it out. Keep going. There's more right there. Hey, I gotta tell you something. What? It's just glass. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, just got you, man. What the? What? what? They're walking no. home, bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. I oh, believe in man. you, Kendall. <laughs> I believe in you. Look, we were in the parking you lot. You just got Antero <laughs> Punk. What? I, I thought uh, I thought we were gonna be rich. <laughs> no, I was so today. I was honestly so proud of you. <laughs> I, I'm never gonna believe you ever again. <laughs> I fly on that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna toss some rock down. <laughs> Keep popping that. You're on it, man. You're on it. That's right. your surface sign right there. So we just popped this rock out and we found a little blue mark right here and that means we're on the good zone. Anywhere right here could mean that there's going to be a really good pocket of crystals, you know, aquamarine, and I'm just excited. So we're going to keep popping rocks and try to find where this blue is coming from. Now that it's exposed, it's melted a little bit, we're going to push down a little bit and see if we've got some blue. Yeah, buddy. Shoot. This isn't glass, is it? Y'all ain't pranking me again, huh? No. I can't get I can't get crazy thrilled yet because I don't know about y'all. This is for real, man. This is this is the real deal right here. No, that's another one. Check this out, y'all. I don't know. We're we seriously. Jake, what we want to do here, it slows to a snail's pace. Start bagging it up. Yep. And uh, getting it to the side. You got a lot. Look at these needles. I know. Look at there, dude. All right. <laughs> All right. Get your pocket, That's man. Whatever you got visible, always grab that first. Let's get that up on your sack there. Get it. Oh, yeah. Aqua, aqua, aqua. All right. So, this is pretty crazy. We just found a pocket of aquamarine and some smoky quartz right here down at the bottom. And we're going to put them on the bag, but we're probably going to find a few hundred dollars worth in seconds. Correction. It's Lambo time. <laughs> you said correction is Lambo time. This is Lambo time. We're on the top of a pocket. You've got well-formed crystal growth. Yeah. Yep. You've got different sizes. Um, you're on it, man. Wow. Here's another one right here. I'm going to show you that. What do you think that would be priced at? $7,500 bill? That's Easy. $75 to $100. Isn't that Easy. wild? Uh, oh, 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 wow. Look at that piece. Oh, there we go. Oh, Check this out. This is the biggest aquamarine. Dude, I've look at the color on that. Oh my gosh. Dude. They got big Slap guys. it. <laughs> Slap it. Hey. Dude. I mean, that's a cutter right there, bro. That's a 20 carat stone right there. Oh, it's got 15. Really? How much do you think that's worth? Um, five, 600? No way. Five, five or 600, 600 bucks. bucks. So now what? you start doing the math. <laughs> Yeah, Start yeah, doing yeah. the math. Get you a big baggie full of that with yeah. four and five hundred dollar chunks. Yeah. 
you're on the blue. You know what this looks like? You guys ever watch Breaking Bad where they're, uh, <laughs> the guys, <laughs> you know, that looks like that blue. <laughs> All right, so that's the best piece of aquamarine I've ever found in my life. We're gonna put that on the bag. Pull that. Let's keep looking. It's like all this. I right see it, man. Jake don't see it, but I, I see ain't looking it. yet. I ain't looking. Y'all see a big one right now? I don't see it. I do. This one? Oh, oh, oh! You're getting hotter. Oh, look at this one though. Oh my God, this is killer still, dude. Wow, that is beautiful. Just crystals. This is crazy. So that tells us this pocket is spreading out over here. That's a good one. Is that a combo? Oh! Another banger. Oh my gosh. That's a banger. Wow, look at that. That is crazy. Awesome. What? Killer. We've already found what? You think $5,000 worth? We're getting close to a couple G's. Oh, oh there's. Dude, there's like four right here. As you get into this iron, yeah. it'll be really it's concentrated always in that, there. When we were ta talking about that blue. iron, that brown mud, they're always in there. More of the iron that you get into, the bluer it'll get. That is so cool. Oh, wait, 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 look at that one. Wow. Now, <laughs> we're pulling out bangers uh, after bangers. Oh, right here's now. another one. So, Ooh, Jake, um, see how the geometry and, yeah. and a lot of it looks the same yeah. it could be a broken crystal of like this long wow. that can be reconstructed we're finding them left and right right now this is so much fun we right have hit there. the jackpot it's a good thing good. so <laughs> as we're moving this material into here yeah. when we're done we'll oh, scoop so this up nice. and we'll take this to wash it oh, nice. because there, we're missing yeah, stuff little in here. Micro. there's little yeah. micro one to three carat ones in there yeah, so sure. technically we always when we find it we're gonna go left right uh, Top, three. bottom, and push. We're gonna check all sides. Uh, but this guy's officially an Antero hey. miner getting hey. some blue. That's all I got. I feel it, man. <laughs> uh, Where's that water at? I'm gonna show you something really cool. Oh yeah, we'll pour a little water on it. Water, and then <gasps> we'll show the blue. Oh, that is so cool. Water's in the pocket. Just, yep. Look at that one right there. Now this fella's mining. There you go. Tracy and myself have kind of schooled him up a little bit on what to do, how to trend down into this. Check all the edges of your area. You can see he's got a nice defined hole here and we're hitting a little bit of permafrost. But this guy is on the blue and he's getting it done <laughs> and he's an official treasure hunter. <laughs> Woo! Yeah, buddy. Got that blue! Good haul. That's what I'm talking about. That's so exciting. All right, so uh, here we are, uh, me and brother Jake here. <laughs> so we're gonna pound a few golf balls here at uh, 13,008 and see how far we can get down into uh, the first green there. All right. All right. <laughs> How often you get to get hit a golf ball at 13,800 feet? They, they think we're still up hitting golf balls up here, and uh, but they're hard at work. So uh, this is going to be kind of fun if I just pitch the golf ball over to him. They'll think somebody's hitting golf balls. I think it's going to be pretty fun. We got off the tee box and I got Pastor Mark down here, and uh, we decided to put him to work and. Uh, He's got a nice little hole going right here, and he's gonna see if he can That's find right. a little bit of blue. Right. We're gonna cut you loose on this mountain and let you get after it. Well, I'll get after it for a whole two minutes. <laughs> Good deal. So it looks like it's just random how everybody's just spaced out around here, but really we're tapping into all the veins. The pockets are literally just scattered everywhere. You can't really get a beat on it. As you can see, we're just kind of jumping uh, from trend to trend, and they're literally uh, pearl stringing up the mountain. It's pretty exciting when you find something, you see something that looks like uh, a smoky uh, or you know, blue stone, and it gets real exciting. Your heart starts rushing, beating a little faster, so it's fun. But you can dig for days and days and not see any color, and so it is exciting when you do see it. Uh, he got a chance to see what these guys do and, and look at some pockets while they're coming out. Yeah, it's cool. just a true blessing to have him up here and, and lift everybody's spirits up. Thanks for coming up, Pastor. Hi, thank you. Tracy and Craig are awesome, awesome people, and they're some of the most generous giving people I've ever known in my life. So thank you for this experience. Not very many people in life can say, I went mining for gems, but I can. There you go, Pastor. Check it out. I want them all out. I just led Jake into a productive area and he actually dug in and got into this sweet pocket here. 
No, 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 no. I found it myself. He just had to take yeah. credit. You know, I walked here. He did. That's what I mean. I found this mountain. I, I was like, there's blue here. So you hold the pocket. Yeah. So I'd cur curve all this out, get a little dip right there, and then come from behind there. And so maybe, pop, like, maybe like right here. That whole knot out. And you got some good hand and eye uh, coordination there. <laughs> See this, Joe? It's like two grand. <laughs> Look at that big one right there. Oh my gosh. There it goes. Wow. Look at that. That is so beautiful. That's an incredible one. There's still more down there though. Oh, okay, I thought I was on the surface. Look at that one! Damn, that's a Woo! Oh, look at that freaking out. I'm like, look at it. <laughs> Fingers are so cold. Like What's that? How much do you think this is? That's easily about a thousand, fifteen wow. hundred dollars. This is so much fun. They're so rare and like. It's just so special. Like this is millions of millions of years old and I am the very first person to touch it. And in fact, I'm also the very first person to kiss it. And uh, we're gonna find some more. <laughs> oh yeah, buddy. Real high gem quality here. This is Luke clean. No imperfections in these crystals whatsoever. All right, the wind's picking up. It's super cold. It was just snowing, but we're hanging in there to keep finding some of that blue. <laughs> it's worth it. And you know, to, to the method of, of what we're doing, if things are not marked properly and, and the proper current count, and we try to move it off the top of the mountain down to the warehouse to clean up down there, you know, a bag may get left up here, and then two days later, oh, this was from this pocket, things get really crazy. So it, it really refines things if we can get it done up here. 100% accountability on the carrot count, the clean stuff, and we're not shuffling around later trying to figure out what's what, what pocket went where, oh, we left the bag, that we eliminate all that. Just really quick, end of the day, material makes it over to here to the cleanup table. Jason and N will thoroughly clean the material, separate it, anything special gets wrapped and bagged, uh, but ultimately it's all in the same bag per pocket. And uh, so it, it seems to be working really good, really efficient. It's a good checks and balances. It's all logged in and we're able to track everything really efficient from that standpoint. I'm making a prediction that he probably pulled around probably about 1,100 carats today, 1,200 carats. And this is what we do at the end of the day, every day when we're mining. A little carrot count. One, 268. 267. 69. <laughs> Alright, so we got 268 grams of aquamarine. I have no idea how much money that's worth. What do you guys think? Come on, big money, big money, big money. That's about $13,400 right there. $13,000? <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, I'll yeah. see y'all later. Thank you so much. <laughs> that yeah. is cool. $13,000, one day of mining. It could be a little bit higher in price, but around $13,000 is what I found today. That's pretty crazy. I want to give a huge shout out to Craig for inviting me out here because this would not be possible without him. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this. This is truly a once in a lifetime experience. Everyone here is just super nice and everyone's very helpful. I really appreciate it all. And uh, seriously, what an incredible day. The crew's really holding up good at this point. And of course, when you're hitting aquamarines, everything's really good. We've got such a good crew this year. We've hit so many pockets. We've got so many carrots, really beautiful. So we're so glad to be able to provide that to the community and to other people. Our window's closing out really quick. So I'm thinking, you know, if, if, if my internal barometer's right, I'm thinking we got about two weeks, three at the most. So we really got to put the pressure on the guys. We really got to start pushing down a little bit more and see what we can get out of these guys the last three weeks. So it looks like we're wrapping up this season. You know, we had a, another blessed year. Everybody came down with their fingers and toes intact. Uh, we did miss a few key players this year. Tom wasn't able to be with us due to some other projects. Really missed him, but uh, we made do with what we had. Uh, the guys did a really good job. We got a great crew. Once again, exceeded expectations for production. That's that's always important, but not the most important. But with Tracy and I, you know, I think uh, the, the real highlight this year for us was having our pastor Mark Estep and Robin Estep come up from from Texas. They they just have been uh, a rock in our life. Pastor's been there with me through some of the darkest times I've had to face. Just that spiritual guidance that, that this man's done for our family has just been phenomenal. And uh, we love him so much. We love Robin. And uh, we had our other church group members up from Spring Baptist as well. Those guys had a blast. 
and it really lifted our spirits who we needed the most. So we look forward to next year, uh, 2022. You know, we're, we're obviously expecting big things, uh, growth, different plans of operation, and we got some really cool areas that we're going to be hitting. So uh, everybody buckle up. We're going to be getting some blue, opening up some just game-changing spot. Tracy and I really appreciate all of y'all's support for our small business, watching our videos, allowing us to share our, ourselves with, with the Rock Count community. And we welcome all y'all to our Rock Count family. So uh, if you're ever in Colorado, Mount Intero is a place to be. Come see us at our shop and take care, guys.